This comes with a business reply card. It's got those dark red printings, so we know what this will have at the end. 49th week of 1993. The spine is unfortunately very uh, sun faded, but that's okay. Yeah, you can, as you can see the difference. Yeah, the spine is very sun faded, but that's okay. I'll just deal with that. Comes with the uh, comes with this uh, like program guide thing. November first, This is by some company called Hallway Productions Incorporated. It's got uh, some of these uh, printings on here, but it does not appear here there's a print date yeah and as I'm sure most as I'm sure we all know uh, Loretta Lynn uh, recently uh, passed away uh, earlier this month so yeah rest in peace so yeah This is by some company called Superior Promotions Incorporated. No printing and... From the looks of it, it looks like this tape might be in EP mode. Because it says 90 minutes, but as you can see, there's a somewhat small amount of film there. So, yeah, I believe this tape is probably in EP mode. So, 
This one's got a pretty cool uh, sort of ma shiny metallic uh, cover art right here. Yeah, you can see on the back too. And the spine might be coming apart a bit, so I might have to fix that. Hollywood Video Rental. Yeah. Okay. Up next, uh, uh, Will and Sam, if you're watching, these are for you. I got two more Video Treasures tapes. Uh, it's got someone's uh, signature right there. From the private person who used to own this tape. Uh, this film was, this film was originally released in 1986 by Media Home Entertainment, but this is a 1988 Video Treasures release. November 18th, 1988. Here's the other video treasures tape that I got. This one's got someone's address on there. This film is from 1985, and this is a 1989 VHS. And, and if you look, if you look closely, the. FBI warning text on the label looks kind of uh, blurry for some reason. Yeah, the, yeah, the FBI text is kind of uh, like like very like very uh, blurry-ish, kind of kind of whited. See, I was like they might have uh, messed up a little bit on the printing when they were uh, making this tape. But anyway. This one does not have a print date, although it does have a number 50 stamped on it right there. So, yeah.
This is a 1981 film, and this is a 1994 VHS. Forty ninth week of Night's Night Four. Does appear to have a slightly faded barcode, so this one might have a white screen after the end. Off the check. Okay. This next one's still sealed, and this is actually a Warner Brothers Westerns tape. This will be replacing my Vid America print of this film that I got back in uh, 2015. Yeah, I like I like this print better than the Vid America print, so I'm gonna keep this print instead. Uh. This is a 1949 film, renewed in 1976, and this is a Night's Night 8 VHS. And you can see it does have the recycling logo. Yep, you can see it does have the Warner Home Video logo on the shrink wrap, although it's been, like, partially smeared. Or faded, whatever. Alright, let's get this out of the shrink wrap. Okay. Okay. Yep. Looks to be in looks to be in great tape looks to be in great shape. Don't see any uh, mold on it, so that's good. And yes, for some reason as you can see it it doesn't have the Warner Home Video uh, logo on the label for some reason. So that's interesting. Two print dates, and this is actually a reprint. November 19th, 2002 and November 25th, 2002. So yeah, this is a 2002 reprint. And yep. So yeah. Here's the last beat chest tape that I have for this update video. My first MGM Avant Great Cinema tape. Or, or Avant Garde Cinema, I meant. My bad. Pause the video if you want to read the cinema facts. Uh, this is a 1967 film, and this is a 2000 VHS. This is an MGM tape co-produced by United Artists.
October 23rd, 2000. So yeah, this tape will be turning uh, 22 years old in uh, a few a few days from now. <laughs> Actually, about a about a week from now. Okay, so that's it for the VHS tapes that I got. Now on to the CDs. I'm actually going to try something different this time. I'm going to try doing these on 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 the on the bed. So so now onto the CDs that I got. Actually, let me. Oh look at that! The that's co that's a coincidence. So yeah, she wore yellow ribbon. Uh, the actual song is on this uh, CD. So there you go. You just saw the the movie. Uh, she wore yellow ribbon, and now that the actual song is on this. So that's pretty cool. This is a BMG Direct release. Yep, and you can see it says it on the disc as well.
This is the last Christmas album for this uh, video. And has that has this uh, notice it says uh, producer's note every effort has been made to preserve the integrity of the original recordings the listener should be aware however that these transfers contain imperfections which were inherent in the recording equipment and techniques of that time. Actually, well, there's actually nothing on the inside, just plain white. Yep, it says the same thing right there as well. I do have this movie on VHS. And yeah, it comes with uh, this uh, another, another uh, business reply thing. This was actually inside the booklet when I first got this. And...
that, is that all the pages? Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, this was a this was a Walmart exclusive uh, bonus uh, CD that originally came packaged with the uh, Jungle Book uh, 40th Anniversary Edition uh, Platinum Edition release. Yep, because he says 2000, copyright 2007 Walt Disney Records. <laughs> Yes, this one does feature Zippy Duda on it, which is obviously pretty cool. I actually had I actually had no idea this uh, CD existed until I 
until I found it. Uh, yeah, but I figured I would get this for my Jimmy Buffett collection, just because it's just because it's interesting. says this album is also available on cassette. Nice supposed to let them know nice nice of them to let us know that. This one's still sealed. Yeah, this one looks interesting. I will open this one up uh, later after I'm uh, done recording this. <laughs> Yeah, I'll open this. Yeah, I will open this up at a later time. Same same thing with this one. Yes, this one does have uh, the late Olivia Newton-John on this one. And apparently Tony Curtis as well. That's interesting. And some other people that I'm not as familiar with. says, proceeds from the sale of this album will be donated in equal amounts to the following cancer research and medical organizations. Uh, Children's Health Environmental Collation, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and the University of Pittsburgh Cancer Institute. So yeah, so again, I'll open, I'll open that one up later. Uh, this says, RIA will donate 100% of its net proceeds from the sale of the CD, at least $15 in equal parts to the 
American Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity, and Music Cares Ameri Hurricane Relief 2005 for their hurricane relief efforts. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. Um, and, and these have, and these do have, these do actually have the universal print logo on the backs of them. Yep, that one, and yep, and there's the other one on the second disc. Pause the video if you want to read that thing. There we go. And yep, and there's all the uh, record labels that, uh, collaborated on this. Okay, two more CDs left to go, guys. This next one's also still sealed. Yeah, this, this was a pretty cool find. I'm sure some of you will agree with me on that. Again, this one's still sealed, so I will open this one up later. All right, and the last CD for this video. This... I've heard this album is supposed to be like really good, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this album out and listening to it.
Okay, so that's it for this update video, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys. Peace.